Hi, this is Allison Sheridan, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. In a recent tutorial, I taught you how to use Touch Retouch, including how to use it as an extension to Apple Photos. Here's the support article where they call these apps extensions. Apple also lets us extend photos by using third party apps to create projects. And confusingly, in some contexts, they also call these extensions. This version of extensions to create projects is what we'll be looking at today. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a project using a sampling of third party apps. We won't be able to go through all of them and try every single type of project, but by learning just a couple of them, you'll learn how to experiment with the others to see if they meet your needs. I'll bring up photos where we can take a look at how to install third-party extension apps in photos. In the left sidebar, you can see a section that says projects and my projects under it. Now, if you have a lot of content in your photos library, you may have to scroll down quite a ways to find my projects. When I select my projects, it says to choose file create to start a project. We can use the menu bar as it suggests, but I actually like to get used to using the hidden options you get by hovering over the words in the left sidebar. I don't know why Apple likes to hide these things, but they do. For example, my projects might not even be visible to you. If you hover next to the word projects, you get a little chevron to hide or reveal my projects. If you hover over my projects, you get a plus button that allows you to add a project and shows you the different projects from which you can choose. As I move through the different types of projects, you'll see that most of them, with the exception of Slideshow, show me that I need to go to the App Store to install third-party apps. I think it's important to note that Apple has moved slideshows from photos buried down inside this menu of creating projects. We can select any type of project here and select App Store because all of these projects will take us to the same place in the App Store. You're greeted with some generic information about photos extensions. Remember, I warned you that they would call them extensions. If we scroll down, we can see the different types of projects and the companies that have created extensions for Apple Photos to allow you to buy projects from them. Several of these companies have offerings in more than one category, so you'll actually see them listed more than once. Now, the first section allows you to create photo books. Under Hang It Up, you'll find companies who will help you create framed prints of your images. Send a card with your own images for any occasion. You can create a calendar. Mimeo Photos is the company that has always printed Apple calendars even way back before these extensions, and I find their quality to be really good. I'm not going to show you how to create a calendar, but I want to give you a little tip. Did you know you can create a calendar starting any month? So you could do a family calendar and give it to people in June if you want. It doesn't matter. I used to always try to force my calendar into getting it done by the end of the year, but during the holidays, it was always too stressful. I now start my calendars in February, and they go through January. You can print your photos to have them delivered to you. And finally, under More to Explore, there's one option to create photo collages. This is the only third-party app that costs money because it's the only app that creates a digital product. They're not actually going to send you anything. I'm not quite sure why Presto Photo isn't listed in the other sections, but you can try that one too. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencast Online member.